Today, I'm gonna to show you how I do a hidden elastic waistband. This is the pair of leggings I used as my guide when I made my pattern. So I got the front and back panel. I already cut out my pieces of fabric, so I'm showing you on a scrap piece how you fold it in half. And right here it says, on the fold, place my pattern piece over the fabric and then I am going to put a weight on it so it doesn't go anywhere. I try not to use pins with stretchy fabric. And then I got my rotary cutter and I'm gonna cut and cut and cut along the pattern piece. There we go. And then when you unfold it, you have your piece of... All right, so here are my four pieces of fabric I already cut out. I have two for the front of the waistband and two for the back of the waistband. All right, now with your four panels, see how here's the edge that would be the curve of your tapered waist. So you want the tops of each of them to be towards each other so that when you fold them over the top, you have your right sides together and the elastic is going to go there. So right sides together, and then I'm going to clip it. Again, I like to use clips instead of pins for stretchy fabric. It also makes it really fast when you're using the serger to just unclip it and not have to worry about pins. So again, when I go through the serger, the elastic is gonna go on the top and this is the tapered part of the band. So the top where it's narrower is gonna be the top of your waistline and then it tapers down and out. This is a piece of scrap fabric that I'm running through the serger. Even if I just used it yesterday, I always like to start with a scrap piece to make sure all my threads are good, the stitch is good, and everything's still set up the way I want it. So I'm lifting up the foot. I have an elastic foot already on here, and so I'm putting the elastic through, and then I set the foot down, and I push the pedal to get the elastic already started in the serger before I put my fabric underneath the foot. So this is still the same scrap piece of fabric. I'm just gonna see about how hard I need to pull on the elastic to get the scrunch and the stretch that I want before I put the actual waistband through the serger. This is the first two pieces of waistband. And so I'm giving the elastic a gentle tug so that it scrunches up as the serger stitches it all together. This is real time right now. This is not sped up. But eventually here I'll speed it up so you're not sitting here the whole time that I'm sewing. of the waistband and I'm making this video because I made the hidden elastic waistband on a pair of leggings a couple months ago and everything went great and then I tried doing it again and my brain just could not remember or figure out how I did it before and I kept messing it up so I was like I need to make a video this time for me and I might as well post it on YouTube in case anybody else wants to follow along also this is one of the patterns that I've been following for this by Activewear Sewing, Cut, Sew, Move. They are amazing. This is the fifth pair of leggings that I've made with this pattern. So now the next part is to put right sides together and sew along the side, that tapered edge that's going to be the waistband. So I am clipping the sides together and then I'm gonna make sure that I am matching up the seams together before I put it through the serger. So again, right here, the seams on both sides. Definitely wanna make sure those match.
running it through the serger, getting those sides done. And then after I get the sides done, then you'll have it fully in a circle, the full waistband. And then you'll just have to take the center serger seam, the one that has the elastic on it. Sorry, that's my baby in the background. <laughs> but then you'll have to use your sewing machine for that part to stitch that down so that it doesn't want to roll around. So stitching up the sides on the serger. I will speed this next part up, but right now this is real time. got all four pieces stitched together we are almost there now we're gonna have to go over like I said to the sewing machine so you're gonna have this open and you want to have the three point zigzag stitch that's my favorite one to use so this is a scrap piece of fabric that I'm going to stitch just to see how my sewing machine is going. I have a walking foot on my sewing machine right now, which helps a lot for stretchy fabric. So I have the elastic folded over, and right now I'm just trying to find the ends of my thread so I can hold on to them. I am using the knob right now to do a few stitches before I start using the pedal, just so that I know the thread isn't gonna slip when I start using the pedal. So I get it all lined up. So once you're at least three to four stitches in, now I'm really trying to make sure the needle is down so I can pull, get everything straightened out, flattened out, and then I can use the pedal to start stitching. your time go nice and slow keep pulling to the right and to the left to make sure that you aren't accidentally having too much fabric underneath and make puckers and keep pulling and holding I'm just gently helping along I'm not tugging too hard on the back just gently helping that walking foot pull everything along seam I use something that is just about as thick as the seam and lift up the foot put it underneath the foot and then put the foot back down that way there's still that pressure to help keep the tension with the bobbin correct so you don't get a rat's nest underneath and then I hand crank over it and then once I'm over it then I take that out and I use the pedal again and just keep on going Here's what it looks like when I'm done. So you can see the zigzag 
on the underneath side that's going to be hidden once it's folded over. And then here's what it looks like on the other side. And so this will be the part touching your body. And the other side will not have any of the zigzags showing to the outside. So now I am folding it in half and I'm going to quarter it out. So I take the seams together and then do my little notches on the side. And then I'll do the same thing with the leggings. That way I can match up notches and seams to make sure that I have everything centered and everything where I want it to be. part's very important. So again, the part that's going to have the zigzag showing is going to go against your body, which will be wrong side. And then the part that doesn't show the zigzag is going to face out, which is the good side. So you want to put good sides together. So when I put the leggings inside of the waistband, you want the good side facing down towards the leggings, the zigzag part facing out towards you. And then put all your notches and seams together. got it all clipped together going over to the serger so you only want to clip where your notches and seams are at I have a few other clips on here just to make sure the fabric doesn't try and slip and my sides stay together and I also clipped down where the elastic is just so that I know where everything's at and I can keep track of everything and not accidentally stitch something into the serger and cut it off that I'm not supposed to but I'm just double checking again. The zigzag part is facing me right now and the side that doesn't have the zigzag is facing the leggings, good sides together. I'm gonna take off the table part so that I have my free arm. It makes it a little bit easier to go around here and I will show a few different camera angles of what's going on. So when you're doing waistbands or necklines or sleeves or anything like that, the waistband is going to be just slightly smaller than the actual leggings so you're constantly pulling just enough to make sure that everything lines up and you don't get any wrinkles or folds so when i'm not pulling see how the bottom part's looser that's the leggings the top part you're pulling it until they both look exactly the same and then it just feeds right through the serger I am constantly rearranging, pulling, tugging, flattening out, making sure that I'm not having any fabric that's accidentally tucked underneath that goes through the serger. Just constantly check every time you come to a clip, just kind of feel around, make sure it's all flat, you don't have any wrinkles in it. And again, I apologize. I tried to find a quiet spot in the house and baby boy just uh, keeps wanting to talk. He hears me talking and wants to talk too. I made this video really fast on my iPhone. Again, I'm mainly making it so that I can rewatch it and remember how I did this. 
but if anybody else likes it, that is awesome. I hope this helps you out because the hidden lace, uh, hidden elastic waistband on the leggings definitely for me keeps them up. They might try and roll over a little bit, but they don't fall down. They stay up. Favorite. Here they are, the big reveal. I had so much fun making these leggings. I made them for one of my besties. I hope she likes them. They are so pretty. They got little kitty cats on them and little paw prints. Oh my gosh. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps and uh, I will definitely be rewatching it myself for the next time I do one of these waistbands.